how to mount TAV30 torque converter onto a Predator 212 engine from Harbor Freight. Uh, this is a generic, no name, it says Lost Star on the primary, clutch off of eBay, um, certainly a knockoff of a Comet TAV30. Uh, comes with some instructions, not a whole lot. Um, hardware list, hardware spelled wrong, of course. And uh, it did come with this hardware, which if you guys have tried this before, does not fit this engine. Uh, although the Harbor Freight engines and the torque converter are clearly made overseas, it is an English <clears throat> bolt pattern on the side of the engine. If you go to the back of your manual, you know most of you guys probably just chuck this thing in the garbage. But there is actual useful information that shows that the uh, four holes are 5 16 24, which is fine thread. Same with the end of the crankshaft, 5 16 24. So the hardware that comes with, again, is metric, does not fit. So for mounting the torque converter backing plate to the engine, I use these four bolts here. There's one in the bag. <clears throat> Those are 5 16 24 by one inch long. I did put lock washers on all of them and a dab of blue Loctite for extra insurance. And then the bolt for the uh, primary, that was a uh, 5 16 24 by two. Again, that's fine thread. I did put a lock washer on it and some blue Loctite. Now that gets you most of the way there. One other issue you're going to run into is this dipstick is wider than the side of the engine and will hit and cause misalignment or if you tighten it up it'll crack. So I ground a bunch off of the one side and actually took a round Dremel wheel and cut a slight groove or channel into the torque converter housing itself. Kind of hard to see here but uh, that gave it a little more room too just to kind of make sure i had enough clearance and didn't have any belt misalignment so that's what you need for the mounting bolts one of the long bolts for the crankshaft and a little loctite if you want some want some extra insurance that it's not going to come loose the thing does spin and vibrate and hate to have that thing come apart on you as you're driving so all right, hopefully that was helpful. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful tips. Thanks, bye.